I'm going to show you how to start up GS Pro with using uh, either the Uniker I or the Uniker QED. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Pod. The other way of doing it is you can go to either View or Ignite and start it that way. Uh, we recommend going with the Pod. It just seems to run a little bit better unless you're running multiple cameras. Um, and then you would want to go through the View software. Um, but so you're gonna go to your little menu here and press GS Pro and you're gonna press play. This pod links the, basically the, the launch monitor to the software. So we do need to do this and you're going, going to minimize this and then you're going to run the GS Pro launcher and it will update um, if it needs to be. This window right here should be defaulted, so you really don't need to do with anything to this screen. Um, and then it'll launch GS Pro. And then the, the link between both of them will pop up here shortly. And you'll notice at the top it's red. So it's red right there. And then so it's gonna communicate with the Uniker and that will turn green right there. That means it is ready to go. Um, so you want to minimize this. Do not close that out or you'll lose the connection to it. So this is the, the main screen in GS Pro. Very easy to use, um, very easy to navigate. So the first thing that you have is settings. Um, so I'll just go into settings. Typically to play games and stuff like this, you don't really need any of this set up um, except for like a default player. Um, but you can see that we have our players listed here. Um, we have all their UIDs from SGT, which I will describe in another video. Um, but you don't really need to do any of this. Uh, so the gameplay here, it should be already set up. So you don't really need to do a lot with this. Um, and then the visual settings, you can change some of this stuff around. Um, I would just Google that. This is explained in GS Pro's user manual as well. So you can refer to that, but very simple stuff here. So I'm just going to close out of here. And then, so you have four main menus here. You have your local match. That's where you're gonna play any course that you want. So I'm gonna go there first and explain this. So local match, let's just say, um, this is the search engine for all the courses out there. Um, if you wanna show all courses, you check this mark and you can see to the right that some of them say download to play. So if I wanted to play, you know, one of these courses, I would just press download and it would immediately start downloading. You can see Arrowhead already have it on there. Um, so let's just say Bally Neal, let's say if I wanted to play that, I would download and right now it is downloading. It shows um, the percentage and then it'll show complete and then you can say play course when you're done. So essentially you, We'll just go to, uh, say you want to play Band and Dunes. So we'll play Band and Dunes. And then this is the where it takes you. So players, match settings, holes. Um, so here you want to check your, um, your guy. And so let's just say I want to play. And then the match setting tease, that is coming from the match setting. Um, so if you want to change this, you can uh, just automatically do the tee boxes here. So what this means is if the match setting is here, but you wanna play different T boxes, then you wanna set your T's manually. So let's just say I want, I'm playing with Timmy. Um, let's say I'm playing from the blacks and he wants to play from the blues. That's where you would do it there. Um, and then everything else is you can switch everything here. This is where you switch the pins, Saturday, Sunday. So it's basically Thursday's the easiest, Sunday's the hardest. Gimme, you can do the same thing. And then you can also do auto putts um, as well. Auto putt fix and auto putt random. Those are both in the user manual. Um, that is explained there. That's easier for you just to read that. <clears throat> and then uh, course elevation, global or course. So this will, if you're playing in Colorado, it'll come up as the correct altitude. Um, or you can just play global, which is at sea level and then stimp, um, putting normal, mulligans, and then player set settings. This player settings, uh, once again, refer to the manual, but you can, if you're playing with like a youth player that you wanna boost their shots or maybe a high handicap where you don't want them to spray it all over the place, you can actually go in here and um, 
modify the player settings to make it easier for them. And then that's where you would do player settings. Most of the tournaments online and everything, it's force realistic. That means it is taking the data directly from your launch monitor into the game. Um, and then here is the fairway firmness grin. You can change all of this stuff. The putting assist is if you want a free putt, so if you're using a Uniker system and you actually want to putt, um, you know, play the break, then you need to turn this off. If you're using a lower end monitor, like a Skytrack or Ernest or something like that, then you want to put, leave that on and then you just have to put it straight and you aim with the mouse. Um, and then holes, if you just wanted to play nine holes, you uncheck the rest of them and then essentially you just press play. So that is the local match. Uh, practice is pretty straightforward. Um, driving range, it'll just take you straight to the driving range. Uh, skills test, there's only one in there right now, so um, I'm sure they'll update that. But that it's kind of fun if you want to check it out, if you want to do some different dis distances and stuff like that. And then a really cool tool is this, the, the practice on the course, whatever it's called. Um, what was it? On-course practice. So let's just go to Bandon Dunes. Um, and then, so let's just say I wanna go to practice and so we'll, we'll just uh, go right to the first hole and I'll show you how you can navigate through this. This is really fun if you wanna do multiple things at once and not have to go back through the different screens. Um, so this will just take uh, just a minute to initialize. Hopefully it won't take too long for us. But essentially, you can practice anywhere on the hole um, or anywhere on the course, and it's really easy to go from hole to hole. Um, let's say you wanted to do a closest to the pin at, you know, a, a par three like hole 17. You just go to, well, first of all, I'll just show you. So this is the holes. So you can go to any hole. So if I wanted to go to hole 17, boom, I'm on hole 17. Um, I wanted to go to hole five, boom, I'm on hole five. And so the other cool thing here is you can tee off here. It's in practice mode, so it'll come back to this initial spot. So let's just say I wanna practice chipping. Um, so I go up here and then I'm going to drop it right by the hole. Boom, it's right there. So remember, you grab this ball and you can, you can drop it anywhere and you're chipping from here. Um, or you can go on here and you can practice putting. So very, very useful, um, especially if you're you know, wanting to do like a hundred yard shots, you know, maybe you're playing a tournament um, at the same course and you, you know, want to practice a hundred yards in or something. So um, very cool. Um, this is the menu bar up to the top right. So to exit the course, I just press end round. Um, actually, I'm going to show you something real fast. This, um, this right here. So if you ever have any questions, if you ever want to do anything during gameplay, just, um, press that keyboard, the, the fast forward, uh, the shortcut menu, and it'll pull this up and it'll show you everything on here that you wanna do. So you can kind of test this out. Uh, usually if you wanna do something, then it's in here. Um, and then another cool factor is these arrows down at the bottom. Sometimes a tree will be on the right side of the tee box and you wanna move it over to the left. So you can move it back and forth. That's really important. Um, and then, so those are the main things from that. So I'm gonna press confirm that I wanna end my round, so I end it. So the next thing is tournaments. So if you are part of a, a league um, that is run through SGT, if you know what that is, then this is where you would find the tournaments. You would basically pull up your name, and I'll show you, I have a couple in here. But this is, you'll just end up pulling up your name after you inputted your name and your UID and pretty much all your tournaments, I don't know what's going on right now, but um, let's go back here. Okay, so there, I pulled up my name and so these are all my open tournaments. Um, this is uh, virtual T, this is our country club right here, and it's showing that I need to play round one of two. And then once I play round one, this will show two of round, play round two. Um, very straightforward. Um, if your stuff is not in here, then 
something is wrong on the back end. So either your UID, like your settings, when you entered your player, that is incorrect, or you have not yet registered for that tournament. So um, that is that. And so basically I wanna go back and then online match. You can actually play with people online. So if I wanted to play with someone out of state uh, that has GS Pro, I can do that. Um, it's actually very easy. I will make another video on that. But that is kind of a quick rundown of how to navigate through GS Pro. I hope that helped.